We are Team 37 of the UCL App Project Groups. Our team has three first-year computer science students. Andre, our main UI designer and report writer. David, our programming and research lead. And I'm Wayne, the team leader and main tester. Our clients are Rachel Forbester, Mark Rice, and Phil O'Connell from the NHS. My flow guide comes as an addition to an already existing telehealth service, Flow, which helps to remind patients to take medications and maintain their health record up to date by sending text messages. My flow guide stems from the idea that it is also vital to keep NHS patients well informed on any medical conditions they might have. Our prototype contains information on the five most common diseases the patients suffer from, providing accurate medical information for user with text and multimedia support including video. After the initial planning with our clients, we have gathered a set of key requirements. Firstly, the application has to be cross-platform mobile application, accessible through Android, iOS and Windows phones. It has to contain information of the five most common diseases flow users suffered from, including COPD, cardiovascular disease, hypertension, type 2 diabetes and asthma. The content should include local images and videos. Hello, my name is Claire Adams. I'm a respondent in Sunderland. Also text obtained dynamically by scraping NHS websites. The app should also have inbuilt analytics tool to allow our clients to monitor the app usage as well as to track the popularity of individual pages of the application. In terms of the UI design and user experience, we were asked to provide a clean and easy to use design and the application should be instinctively navigable by a wide range of users, including patients with visual impairment. Our front end uses the Ionic and AngularJS frameworks with Cordova plugins to include links and multimedia support. These frameworks allowed us to use standard web technologies to develop the app, speeding up the development process by using HTML, CSS, and TypeScript, which was transferred to JavaScript by the framework. As for the back end, we use Node.js package to allow for web scraping the NHS website to handle web packages as well as to implement Google Analytics. This choice of frameworks enabled us to build a cohesive and scalable application that was cross-platform and reliable. Our system architecture consists of multiple components, but as it's an information application, much of the content is statically stored. Our backend rests on the Ionic framework, which is based on Node.js. Specifically, all of our scraping logic as well as defined components, classes, and page-specific logic is built into the backend. This includes Event Handler to make calls to the Google Analytics API. However, the application itself does not need to be hosted, as the code is transpiled into the native language for every mobile operating system. The front end, on the other hand, is in the presentation layer, which is displayed as a rendered web page on the device. This in turn allows our application to perform all data collection in the back end and pass it to the front end for rendering. The front end uses multiple transpilation tools such as SASS and TypeScript that transfer to CSS and JavaScript respectively to make the development process more effective. Overall, our project has been quite successful. Below is the list of our achievements. Key achievements include being able to gather requirements from our clients, implementing Google Analytics and web scraping, and also coming up with a suitable UI design.